I like to work as fast as I possibly can inside of Studio One, and a gaming mouse helps me fly through the software and helps me create music faster. This is a tutorial for Windows, so if you are not a Windows user, this is not going to work for you. But Gregor from Personas has made a video showing you exactly how you can do this specific thing on a Mac. I will make sure I put a link to his video in the description below. But if you are a Windows user, then make sure you stick around because this is the video for you. And I'm also going to show you how you can use macros to cut your editing down by at least half. I have free vocal presets for Studio One. So if you want those presets, click the top link in the description and you can download those for free. You just click and drag them onto your track and they automatically get loaded. It is so handy, so easy, and I use that preset all the time. So now let me show you how you can set everything up for your gaming mouse inside of Studio One. So here we have a track that sounds like this. <laughs> And before I show you how to set everything up, I wanna show you exactly why I set things up the way that I do. So I have this vocal chop here that needs edited. There's some noise going on in here and it just needs cleaned up. You can hear that noise just kind of in the background and it really needs cleaned up. So what most people would do is they would come up here and click the split tool and they would split the section that they want eliminated and then they come back up here to the pointer and then they would delete those sections. Then you can come up here and add some fades and that is just really, really slow. There is a quicker way to change the tools and that is by using the number pad on the keyboard. You can also change the tools by clicking the middle button on your mouse and the tool selection will pop up here. If you also wanna cut out this section, you could use the range tool by going above the middle part of the audio here just selecting the range you want cut and then just clicking delete. That works too, but like I said, I like to work even faster than that. So since I have a gaming mouse and I have buttons that I can set up to do whatever I want, I'm gonna show you how you can do this inside of Studio One. So you wanna come up here to Studio One, click on keyboard shortcuts, and there are a few shortcuts that we need to make sure that you have set up. So if you just type in tool, you can see your tool, you know, uh, one through 10 here, and you just need to make sure that the toolbar here is set up to a key on the keyboard. I don't care what it is. By default, it's set up as the number pad and that's completely fine. So you also want to add a, another keyboard shortcut and that is auto fade. So if you just type in auto fade, you can click right here. It literally says create auto fade. And right now I have it set to shift, alt and X. I believe by default it is just X, but I use that to bring up my mixer window. It doesn't matter what it is. It just matters that you have a key command for that and that you know what it is. So now we are going to open up G-Hub and create some macros. So now when we open G-Hub, we can select our mouse here. I'm using a Logitech G502 Hero. And then I can click assignments and then over here to macros. So now I can click create new macro. The first thing I wanna do is I wanna create an auto fades macro. So I'm just going to call this auto fades studio one. And then we have a few options here. So I am going to click no repeat. That means when I click the button, it does that one task and that is done. So now we have an option here to start now. And then you can click record keystrokes. And once I click that, I know that shift alt and X is the key command for adding auto fades. So I will click shift alt and X and then I will stop recording. Now, once I click save, it brings up a macro over here. And I can drag and drop this macro onto any button on my mouse. But I know there is this really cool little button up here that I wanna use. So I'm just gonna click and drag it here. Now I wanna set up one more macro before we go back into Studio One. So I'm going to click Create New Macro and I'm going to call this Split Tool for Studio One. Now if I want to toggle my split tool, if I click the no repeat, I will target that button as number three, but then I'm not able to go back to my pointer once I switch to my split tool. What I want is when I press the button on the side of my mouse, it selects the split tool, and when I release it, it goes back to my pointer. And so there is this really cool option over here called sequence. So we're gonna choose that. So on press, when I press this specific button, I want it to select my split tool. And I know that this is number three on the keypad. So I'm going to on press, I'm going to click record keystroke 
and click number three and stop recording. Now there's an option here that's called while holding. We don't need to touch this at all. We just want on release to go back to keystroke one and click stop recording. So now when we press the button, it'll select it to tool three. And when we release this button, it'll go back to tool one. We'll click save. And now we have this option for the split tool and we can drag it and drop it to any button on the mouse. I have this really big button on the side of my mouse that I'm gonna use this for. So I'm just gonna click and drag this onto that button. And now we can go back into Studio One. So now we are back into Studio One and here we have our vocal chop that needs cleaned up. So now I have the key commands mapped to my mouse. So now I'm able to select the region I wanna work on. I can click the button on the side of my mouse to trigger that split tool. And when I release, it goes back to the pointer tool. So I'll press it and then I will release. This is so handy. So now I can click, I can split all of these sections out of here that I don't want, all of that noise. Now when I let go, it goes back to my pointer. I can hold shift, select those regions that I wanna delete, click delete. Then I can select all of these regions and press that cool button on the top of my mouse that adds all of those auto fades. And by default, it puts a 10 millisecond fade in there. And that seems to be perfect for just about everything that I'm doing. So now I was able to do all of that editing in under 10 seconds. And that is gonna save you so much time, especially if you're working with an entire song and a bunch of different vocal takes. All of those little moves really add up. So there are a lot of great features that are inside of Studio One. And if you want to know what feature is my favorite, then click this video right here. Studio One is a DAW that just gets out of my way when I try to make music. And that is one of the reasons why I truly enjoy this software. So if you want to know what my favorite feature inside of Studio One is, click that video. And now as always, go create.